Hi Libra. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Libra. Maybe the message is actually for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, my website is located down below in the description box. You can check out all the information there. Or you can jump over to my Instagram. Wow, why do you keep getting that card? Um, I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy things that I play around with alchemically over there. So you guys can jump over there if you would like to. It's totally up to you. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you're supporting the channel. Let's dive in. Okay. Wow. All right, Libra. <laughs> I was like hoping to get some black cards. <laughs> That's honestly why I kept shuffling because I like wanted the balance. Oh, so nerdy. Okay. We have peacock and moth. That's an interesting combination. We have beauty and completeness and change and dreams. This is amazing. All right. You're looking very complete at this time. All right, you might be coming across, people could be perceiving you to be very beautiful and like you completed some kind of process. It looks like very just content. Like I'm seeing you're very much exuding this beauty in some capacity, whether it's just like coming out internally from you, but that, that could be the thing that's energetically coming out anyway, is that you just feel very beautiful, like your personality, your soul, your spirit. This could be external too. Like you could be very beautiful to look upon, but a lot of the inside is exuding from you as well. So you have this moth now where a change is coming in, where you're like feeling complete in some kind of process. And now there's a change coming in. Some of you guys, this could be another energy that is coming forward towards you. This is like a moth to a flame. Okay. Wow. So I'm seeing what's taking place here. Okay. You're coming out as the star, which is incredible. Some of you guys could have Aquarius type energy. That doesn't matter though, but you've got this pulsar energy where I feel like the way that you could be doing things right now energetically, Libra, I don't know if you're like doing something specific, but people get kind of like a, a bit of um, like a pulse of energy because this is this is like a short, quick, energetic exchange that's taking place. We've had it for you recently, which I find very fascinating that's coming out in this way. You might be doing that energetically with your beauty. It's almost like you're drawing in a lot of attention and there are people that are attracted to you in some capacity. And there's like, people don't know what to expect from you next. You could be making changes at this time. And there's like time in between. The only reason I'm saying that is because pulsars are, they're quick energetic exchanges. And then you just like shine. So you could be planning that very specifically. Some of you guys could be like sigmas. Okay. That's a very Sigma type of behavior. But the other side of this, very interestingly, you have collapse and expansion, which feels like to me, you know, I was coming across a whole bunch of videos that were talking about like narcissistic collapse. And I think that's what's happening, that as you continue to expand, there's another energy that's going to like, um, I don't know, like they could, there's something about it's not wishing any negativity upon them. It's not anything like that. It's just something about you coming into your like full power while wow, the justice is on the bottom. That's what it's tied to. You're getting your justice in some particular way. I feel like if you had been in dynamics where people had either taken you for granted and you finally had to learn all these painful lessons about like taking care of yourself and feeling complete within you, whatever that process looked like, there are energies that are now going through a bit of a collapse as you come into this different energy. You could be legit like your beauty could be blowing people away. I'm just getting like certain people didn't see you in a certain light in some particular way. I don't know what, what, what was happening. Like there were certain people that met you during a different phase and 
I'm getting that you're kind of blowing those people away just a little bit because I'm that's legit what I'm seeing happen in this process I don't think you're doing anything intentional you're just like there's just like these quick pulses of energy where even a moth is about the transformation that you've been through and very interesting <laughs> okay at the top you have the hermit card which is all about sixth house so you're all about your routines right now yes virgo and energy so that's why i was talking again about where you go through periods of introspection or you've been kind of keeping your energy reserved i don't know what that is specifically talking about but you have this ten of swords maybe at this time you could be feeling as though there's a lot of reaction to you and your transformation and so you might be feeling like maybe the wise thing to do at this time is not so much like cause a reaction okay because <laughs> i'm saying there was a like some kind of reaction to you coming into this energy that that's what the collapse is about okay you have the two of wands you have the three of swords that's a part of the um collapse energy oh that was why okay you've got the three of wands and the nine of wands hmm Knight of Swords. Yeah. Oh, wow. Star card right there. And look how it's coming in internal. Wow. You've just, you've gone through some type of internal shift. It's quite significant. And I feel like there's a pretty big shift taking place. Like down here, you could have said something knight of swords is pretty blunt but it's the process that you go through when you're like shifting archetypes right like you have to go through this development and sometimes this can be the truth teller you know you say some things other people might not specifically like it but it feels like that's also where your some of your lessons are tied to <laughs> okay wow wow okay you have the king of wands and the chariot right there Alrighty, righty What was that? Oh, expand. I have to remember that expand card that's behind. Okay. Wowza. Okay, at this time, I just feel as though there's something significant that came up where someone's in a lot of pain and you might be really gentle in this process. You might not have been previously because Knight of Swords is a little salty or <laughs> like a little bit... Um, you could have, like, you could have been in the process of, for a long time, you could have felt like you weren't able to speak what you wanted to say. You know what I mean? Like, you could have been really closed down because the hermit card could have been, like, there were a lot of things taking place outside of your environment, but because of a certain process you were in, people might have okay this is what i'm getting libra i know this is gonna sound strange but this i have to say it like this because of the way that mercury was interacting with your energy it was trying to help you to introspect and go through some kind of like internal process where you were filtering through communications and that's why like mercury is so fascinating because it will shift communications and and you filter through it differently mercury rules gemini and it also rules virgo i know this might feel separate but we all go through this process so it's not like you're separated from dealing with virgo and type of processes right so for a while you could have been in some kind of process where you were doing some deep introspecting maybe it was about relationships there could have been something here where for a while your communications were completely held back i don't know what process this is talking about but there was like a significant time where you didn't always communicate what you saw or what was coming up like you kept it held back 
I don't think that's taking the place because it feels as though a part of the pulse of this energy is coming in. It's actually coming as a reaction to what you've communicated. You could have communicated some truth here and it could have been to, uh, like, I won't lie. There could have been something here about the process that you've been going through where for a while you were going through either like it could have been the process of heartbreak betrayal and like the CPTSD around that. But it's like you've come out of that. The Ten of Swords looks like you're finally seeing the lessons behind this and you're kind of coming to a completion with it could have been a third party situation for a lot of you guys. But it looks like now now your energy is in this two and three of wands where you're not, you're like looking out and expanding beyond what you have done. So you might be looking for opportunities to where, you, you, again, you've got expansion here. So you might be going either out of your comfort zone or you might be like looking to go out. Like it feels to me like you're ready to go out again and do something. But it's also telling me too that you could have said something that you didn't necessarily mean you wouldn't have normally said something but you were like either drained or you were like sometimes this can be out of desperation but it just feels like you could have been feeling deeply entrenched in the wounded like the hero's journey process like the wounded healer and that could have that that process right there might have made you say something where you normally wouldn't have their souls like something came out right there but interestingly like even though you could have had some reactions from this if you had said something like really blunt or straightforward you might not have had like the best reaction to that and that could have even caused some restriction for you but i'm seeing that it actually in a interesting way it actually healed you because i think that you could have opened up some kind of energy okay and all of a sudden something is moving because now there's a particular person that has the truth with this knight of swords like you might be saying certain things there's a energy that might be moving quite quickly i don't this person might be traveling a lot with the king of wands and the chariot so there could be a lot of movement taking place and that's what i'm seeing here what the details of that i'm not sure i don't know if like you're moving towards someone or someone is moving towards you i'm not really sure but i can see that you've seen a shift take place connected with this knight of swords energy because i'm just seeing something here where you just were getting really drained from a particular process that you were dealing with so you might like this is just how it goes like opening up your throat chakra and saying something but very interesting there's movement taking place over there you're very like you're re I feel like you're watching this energy or you're paying a lot of attention to it with the king of wands and the chariot because something very significant is going on over there in the corner <laughs> like I you guys could be you could be dealing with um I'm not sure there even could be a, a couple different frequencies I'm not sure the details of what I'm picking up on if if there's there's like a few different types of king of wands in the chariot that i'm picking up on there's a person here that could be feeling very inspired by what you're saying to take action on something specific and you could be realizing like this person is making movements or they've had a significant shift forward in their energy just because of like what you could have said so maybe you've been backtracking a little bit or like second guessing something that you said I think it was actually good because you might be saying something you don't realize how it would affect certain people so this person might actually be moving out of some kind of blockage and it was just because like you finally opened up in some particular way but this person could be in general just the moth to a flame isn't it <laughs> that's so funny I'm seeing that there's that could be this typical reading like 
this person could be drawn to you like a moth to a flame. Very interesting. Or you vice versa with another person. Libra, let me dive into the freaking extended. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Libra, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.